go wee. So where do I start? Where do you guys want me to begin? We start here, we start here, we start here, all the vehicles, we start with the camping site, we start with the tent, minifigures. Ooh, look at that. Car works, oh. Oh no, I broke the car. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and ooh. Break out your cigars, break out your champagne and your wine because we're back with another very expensive set from Oxford Block. Yeah, our neighbors from Korea. If you haven't seen any of the Oxford Block videos, check them out here. I really, really like them, but they are a little bit pricey and they come from Korea. But this particular set, we actually sell on the store. Don't forget to break out your wallets too if you want to buy it, but check it out. Yeah, finally something different. Here we go. So this is Oxford Block's camping. No serial number. 890 pieces. So this is one of those sets where we kind of have to do get it from Korea. Could be limited. No idea how much the runs are. We do have stock here in the office if you're interested. And it's a lot like Lego's camping sets. Lego has a few of them. I actually have those sets, by the way. I should do a review on those and do a little comparison later. But you know, with Lego, you have to kind of buy the camper first and then you have to buy the outdoor adventure set. This one is kind of an all-in-one package, which is probably why it's a little bit more expensive. Maybe way more expensive. You guys gotta check out the price. Let me know what you think. I can't change that stuff, man. It's not up to me. This right here, what you're seeing, I'm trying to emulate as much as I can from the manual, the picture of the book, or the box itself. This is the best as I could do. There's so many little things that are going on here. It's actually pretty cool. I'm trying to figure out where we should start. Let's just start with the vehicles. I'm gonna kind of pick this car up here. So Oxford Block cars are kind of skinnier and longer. It only fits one figure inside, but it does have two doors in here. There's no seat. Where's the seat? Oxford Block, what happened, man? Paying so much for this. I should have a seat inside here. But anyway, it's cool on the top here, the rooftop. You can actually put a bicycle up here or you can take that bicycle off. And that's a very simple red bicycle. You can put any of the Oxford Block bikes that will be compatible and fit on there just fine. Color is okay. It's like this light brown. It doesn't look too ugly and it doesn't look too old school. It looks okay. And it has a plate here on the front that says YJ0126. Man, I'm sloppy with these stickers. And there you go. It's a very simple car. Let's look at the next vehicle. Put this back here. So for the second vehicle, this is Oxford Block's version of their camping van. This is actually very simple. Again, it's very narrow, but long. And I kind of like it. I thought it was actually pretty cool. What I like about it is the little windshield wipers here. They use the joystick. I thought that was a nice touch. And this is the cool part. You can actually open up the top. Wow. Yeah, just a little extra thing that they didn't have to do. You do have to be a little bit careful because it's on these hinges. It's kind of like the Baskin Robin video if you haven't seen that. That truck video here, check it out because it's kind of the same deal how that opens up. It's just held by these hinges. It can come off really easy just like that, but it's just as easy to put it back on. And on the front here, you got stickers on the bumper, which is HJ1014. And a big sticker here along the top that says camp. So along the top here, you got another little rack for your bicycle. You can probably switch this out with the other bike if you want to. And then you got a little ladder here. So if the minifigure wants to put the bike up, you can get up there and switch it out. And then on the other side, you got this gray door. I like the shape of that. I haven't seen this door before. So on the inside, you got this coffee machine and you have these two cabinets here. It's really hard to get my fingers in there. I can't even open it if I were to try from here or even from the top. It's really difficult to get in there, but it's a decoration. It looks really cool. And look, it's tiled on the inside. Yay, they tiled it on the inside, but there's nothing much more than the pieces above the wheels, I just maybe chairs. But you do have a television inside. That's a sticker, by the way, and it says news. Wonder what's going on on the news today. So again, very simple vehicle. I like it. So let's move on to the third one. This one has a tent on top that is so cool. Can you take out the tent? You sure can if I take it off. It's just a simple looking car. It's similar to this vehicle here, but this one's a lot bigger. It's still narrow. I mean, still got the narrow look to it. But this one's more like an SUV style family van. It's also really cool that this vehicle hood does open up. Check it out. Yeah, you got a small little engine in there. That's like a sewer cap thing there from the other set. Anyway, at least they put a little engine in there. Very nice. I like the spare tire on the back. License plate is different. It says SR1009. And you got three chairs on the inside. Two doors open up here. But it's really hard to get the figures on the inside unless you take off the entire rooftop like that. So it is a little bit tricky to get your figures in there if you want to keep playing with this thing. The manual shows there's a little laptop in here, but you know, you can put the other accessories, which you'll see in a second there. The laptop folds, by the way. Yeah, we can close that, put it away. I like the color of this tent and I love the fact how they designed it on top of the car. I thought that was really cool. It opens up on both sides and you know, you can adjust it how you like. 
And it's neat on the front here, they have backpacks here that you can put like your equipment stuff. So you can open the flap there and you can see there's two backpacks there. And it has just a little bit extra studs here. You can probably put a couple more things there, pots and pans or whatever you want. Really interesting. So now everyone can go camping. Speaking of tent, let's look at the tent on this side. I like the colors of it. I like the fact that it's like really smooth. Even on the inside, they tiled it, even though it's not supposed to really be tiled. I like the color of the base plate. It's nice and bright and colorful. And I just like the design of it. it opens up on both sides. There and there, as you can see. Very cool. And on the end here, you got another little like awning thing that's held by two little poles that doesn't actually sit into the plate. It just rests on there. And there's a little box here of fruits, apples, and grapes. Tons of little things. You can replace those two with whatever you want. And then we come to the nice grand tree on this side. I kind of decorated the tree how I wanted to. I made the branch stick out a little bit more. And you got some flowers down here. Very pretty, very colorful, very bright. I like that quite a lot indeed. Yes, it's almost worth it just for this little piece here. Not really, still kind of expensive. All right, so now we come to the final piece of the camping set. Look at that, the barbecue pit. I like the barbecue pit area. The fact that they use like a sand colored plate here with another piece that's more green as you saw from the tent earlier. It kind of just breaks it up and looks like you have a little bit of grassy area and a little dirt area. I like the campfire too. The flames coming out. They're cooking some chicken, some fish. And then you got the bench here with some pots and pans. Really simple setup. I just copied the manual, but you can put anything you want there. So it does come with this little barbecue grill, which is really cool. It comes with a little tile there, the sticker of a steak. Unfortunately, it doesn't close all the way once it's in. So it's more of a decorative piece there. Now we're going into the smaller, smaller details. No stickers here, but these are like the Coke cans and the 7-Up, all your drinks that you're going to bring to the camping set. Nice little details to add on. Got a little boom box here. It's like a little orange boom box. Very, very simple setup. You, you guys can probably just make this yourself too. Nice idea. Got a little doggy here. He's just standing by waiting for the leftover food. Finally got this thing here. You're probably wondering what it is. If you can figure it out already, you probably know this is a drone and there's a guy, the minifigure right there. He has a controller to fly it around. It's a little bit weird looking to me. It's a little bit fat, a little bit big. It would have made sense to make it a little bit smaller maybe, or make it look more like a helicopter than this. I mean, if you took the propellers off, it wouldn't even look like a drone. It looks like a piece of car or something. But anyway, that's cool. They have that in there. Then we come to the even smaller objects that come with the minifigure. Let's take a look at these guys up in detail right now. So the girl on the scooter, she's a very simple printing. These are all printings, by the way, on the shirts. I don't know, the glasses being white kind of makes her face look a little bit weird. Then you got this guy who's flying the drone. He looks like a businessman though. You know, I'd probably prefer him to play the guitar up in the car in the tent. I had him in there, I think, before. But he looks fine, printing looks okay. He's got some little freckles on his face, his chin. Then you got the guy who's using the selfie stick, wearing a life vest. We've seen this life vest before. I don't know why he's wearing a vest or a jacket. Maybe that's a jacket, not a vest. Then you got the girl who's riding the Segway. I like the Segway, by the way. It's actually pretty cool how they designed it. Simple. Again, you guys probably have parts to use to make your own. Printing on her face looks fine. And just so you know, the, the two with the vest on that you just saw, they have no printing on the inside of their shirts. So they have to wear the vest or they just wear black. I finally got the couple by the barbecue pit. I think I accidentally switched the torsos, but that's fine. They look fine either way. And they both have a little bit of red. That's funny. And what the guy has a red cap on and the girl has a red hair. Printing is okay. It looks a little bit smudged up on the front. What I like about them is their hoodie. I was wondering what those were at first when I bought the set. And I realized, oh, those are actual hoodies that, you know, they're hard pieces that hang on the back there. That's really cool. I haven't seen that before. I don't think I've seen that before. So there you go. Very nice. I love this camping set quite a lot. It's that time again for dimensions. You guys probably don't really need to know, but you know, they're kind of small, but why not? Let's measure this thing up. First thing we're going to do is measure the tent. So for the tent here with a tree for height, we're looking at about 12 bricks in height around there. And without, it is exactly, well, pretty much seven bricks in height. Okay. With the trusty 32 by 32 base plate, width we're looking at 10 studs by 20 in length if i put the camping set here you get an idea of exactly the size that it fits and surprisingly it is exactly the same with the campfire so here's the campfire exactly the same as the tent so you can certainly very well make your own campsite on a single base plate there and move it around i think it's kind of cool you just probably can't fit all the vehicles on there and speaking of vehicles so for the small car here i'm going to put it down it's about 12 studs by length and about seven studs by width. Height-wise, you're looking at about five bricks high 
if that matters to you or not let's go on to the next vehicle okay so for with the car with the tent on it put it right there just so you guys know so the width of the car is about eight studs and with the ladder there it's about 11. for the height with the tent on there you're looking at about 13 bricks in height and of course if i took the tent off it's about seven studs in height there you go so finally we got the camper van and the width is about eight studs and the length is about 22 it's pretty long now for the height without the bike you're looking at 10 bricks in height now with the bike there if you really wanted to get it it is around 12 bricks right there just touching it so there you guys go if i put everything here put the tent there put the campsite here the vehicle here the other vehicle here with a tent maybe coming out of it on this side you can barely get it all in there on the base plate but you know just so you know that's the dimensions and we got the accessories look many many accessories so you got ipad iphone you got cameras you have extra crab there you got some bread you got more pots and lids and a skateboard apple utensils so the cool thing is it does come with a lot of accessories so you have plenty of choices to move things around put things here and there really a fun playable set if you have kids or if you're into camping or you want to grow your city and have a little countryside it's actually pretty cool i really do like it it's a little bit on the pricier side but like i said it's from korea but we do have it available at brickmeupscotty.com all right you guys until next time brick me out cook the fish well dear the helicopter didn't hold up uh, Scotty, we have a bigger problem. You don't have your body. What are you talking about? I can... Oh, wait a minute. Where are my hands? I can't feel my legs. Dude, where's my body, man? Scotty, it's going up in flames. Goodbye, Scotty's body. No! Now what do I do? Bring, bring. Hello, boys. It looks like you can use some help over here. We have a campsite nearby. Why don't you come visit? We'll take care of you. I don't know, Scotty. What do you think? Can't seem to trust anybody. Well, she is a minifigure. What have we got to lose, man? What's the worst that can happen? I think losing my body is as bad as you can get. Yeah, you're right. Oh, great. Just jump on my bicycle and I'll take it in. Okay, everybody's half done. Here we go. Oh, man. I'm going to regret this. I can't wait to get off this bike now. So here you guys are. Welcome to our campsite. Here you guys go. Oh, you need a body. Here, let me get you one right now. Huh, I can't seem to find anybody here. But I did find a body for you. This is kind of weird. There's no one here. Yeah, it's really quiet here, lady. Where is everybody? I don't know. They were all going to go hiking. And someone said they saw a really old abandoned building up. Really far away. I'm sure they'll be back soon. There's nothing to worry about. For now, just enjoy the place here. Ah, I gotta admit, man, these clothes are actually pretty comfortable. Dear, shall we check out this place? Yeah, let's do it. But I still don't trust that lady. You guys, I'm a little bit worried. I'm gonna see if I can go find my guy. If I'm not back, take care of the campsite for me, please. Dear, this is much more fun than walking using the Segway. Ooh, look at this campfire. Yeah, this was pretty nice. But, um, I don't think I can eat those either. I can't eat fish. Maybe they're cooking deer. What? I'm just playing with you, man. Mmm, deer. This tastes good. It's steak. It's all good. It's cow. I can tell it's cow. I don't believe you, Scotty. At least I found some water here. Hmm. I'm gonna have some of those flowers over there. Five hours later. Mmm, Scotty. This flower tastes really good. Oh, oh! I see some fruit over there. Ah, oh, I haven't eaten this good in so long. Let's see. I had steak. A chicken wings, crab. Yeah, me too, Scotty. I can eat all the fruit in here. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, Scotty, it's getting a little bit dark, though. No one's come back yet. Maybe we should go to sleep. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, sounds good to me, but I'm going to stay in this tent. They go find somewhere else to sleep. Dude, what the heck? You're just going to throw me out of here? Yeah, Scotty, I don't like the night. You go find somewhere else, please. Good night. Hmm, maybe I'll sleep in here. Well, this is way uncomfortable. Gotta find somewhere else to sleep. Oh, maybe I'll find something up here instead. 
Yeah, it's a nice little tent up here. Oh, it's a little bit crammed up here. At least I can kind of lie down here and play the guitar. Come on, dear. Sing one more song as the lights go out. Sing with me now. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. <laughs> merrily, 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 <laughs> life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Good night, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hey, who's that? Ouch! Something just touched me. What the hell was that?